Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. Hope you guys are doing good today. So a lot of people have been requesting that I speak on the whole Larsa Pippen situation. If you guys do not know, yes, t Damas strikes again. So what's going down is this. So if you guys don't know, three months ago, back in August, I spoke on the whole Larsa Pippen, Kanye West, Kim Kardashian drama. And at that point... I was basically putting together what me and one of my tea sippers kind of figured out was the real rift between Kim Kardashian and Larsa. A lot of people thought that back in June, all the Kardashians decided to follow her. And I did a small breakdown on my live basically showing you guys that the fracture in the relationship was two years in the making. So let me go ahead and hit y'all with the flashback, honey. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. And so people are saying, oh, while the Kardashians stopped following them within the past 24 hours. That is not true. There's been a lot of issues with Larsa. So let me go ahead and, and break this down. I contacted um, one of my people who, you know, kind of understands the celebrity world to get some extra tea. And so there's been a lot of drama with the Kardashians and Larsa since 2019. So this is nothing new. Um, Let me see here. Is this the one? The main thing that started it, Larsa was seen back as early as April 16th, 2019. So two years ago is when the fracture kind of started. And if you see this article here, it says Kim Kardashian's close friend, Larsa Pippen, addresses claims that she flirted with ex-husband Chris Humphreys. So that was the first crack in the so-called friendship, okay, that a lot of people weren't aware about. Because for the most part, nobody's checking for Larsa. She's a clout chaser. This is the picture that kind of went viral. This is Chris Humphreys and Larsa. And it looks like she's really in his face. They kind of look like they're flirting. And so that's when a lot of people started saying, well, that's not cool. You know, if you're Kim Kardashian's best friend, why are you all up in Chris, you know, Humphreys' face? That's strange. So... She addressed it and claimed that, you know, they were just friends and she was saying hi to him. Larsa was also caught with Tyga. And Tyga is Kylie Jenner's ex-boyfriend. We all know about the Tyga situation. So here goes another article from January 2020 where it says Kim Kardashian's friend, Larsa Pippen, um, was seen hanging out with Kylie Jenner's ex-boyfriend who's 30 at a launch party in Los Angeles. So Lars has been busy kind of hopping from their exes. And then now it's also been rumored that there might have been something between her and Tristan. Okay? So let me go ahead and show you guys this. Somebody said something about Tristan and Jordan Woods, <laughs> forever being messy, honey. Um, she came through and hit, hit them with the like. So this person says, okay, so the only thing that I peeped from... That man's rant is that Larsa Pippen slept with Tristan but didn't get dragged like Jordan did because he kissed her. You do you dust buckets, keep your mouths closed. You dust buckets kept your mouth closed and just unfollowed the white woman and literally tried to destroy Jordan. And Jordan liked that. So I believe that there's some truth to that. I just showed you guys pictures and receipts of Larsa hanging with Tyga, Larsa hanging with Chris. Um, so I can see Larsa then hopping and trying to be in Tristan's face. All right, so you guys just saw that flashback. Things I said in that flashback have come to pass and that were basically pretty, pretty accurate um, with the whole situation with Larsa. So if you guys do not know, she recently did an interview with Hollywood Raw, and um, it was a podcast slash interview and she hit on a lot of points and she basically wanted to get her side of the story out there, okay? So I'm gonna play you guys what E put together um, I want you guys to watch this. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Was I hurt by it? Yes. But at the same time, I'm like, I've done nothing. I've never done one thing. And I've been the most honest and truthful and best friend to all of them. 
Larsa Pippen's dishing all the details about the end of her friendship with Kim Kardashian. And let's just say, she's pointing the finger right at Kim's hubby, Kanye West. He literally has brainwashed the whole family into thinking that, like, I don't even know what. I don't even know. ET has reached out to Kim and Kanye for comment. Things first started back in July. Kim and her famous sisters Chloe and Courtney unfollowed Larsa on social media, which was a big deal because at the time, she was Kim's longtime BFF. We need what to get more just... into it. Okay. Like, like oh, more oh, into oh, it. <laughs> She's appeared on Keeping Up with the Kardashians a lot over the years. I talk a lot of Now Larsa is speaking out, revealing what went down during a chat with the Hollywood Raw podcast. I just feel like Kanye um, was in a place where he, you know, he really didn't trust anyone um, with Kim. When the 46-year-old was asked if something went down between her and Kanye that sparked the fallout, she said, nope. No, we always had a great relationship. I just, I don't know, when people are not happy, when people are trying to figure out their own shit, I feel like they want to put pressure and blame other people for their situation. And, you know, I've seen that happen so much that it's like, I get it, you know what I mean? I understand, I get it. Like, is it hurtful? 1,000%. It's hurtful that people think like, I hooked up, like I'm trying to ruin like Chloe's life. Oh yeah, get this. Larsa also shot down those rumors that she hooked up with Chloe's man, Tristan Thompson. I'm like, dude, I would never do that. Like, you know, that's not even my personality. My personality is all about love and support, and I've been there and I've supported them through everything. But the former Real Housewives of Miami star did share this interesting backstory. She said she was dating Tristan before him and Coco were a thing. Before Chloe or any of them even knew he existed. I was seeing him, I had him come to LA, I brought him to, uh, a party Kim had, I introduced him to all of them, and then a week later, maybe 10 days later, he started seeing Chloe, which is fine, I don't even care. She's even rooting for Chloe and Tristan. I applaud them for working things out. I think it's great that they're trying to work on their relationship. I'm really proud of them. Okay, so then seriously, what the heck happened? He literally has brainwashed the whole family into thinking that like, I don't even know what, I don't even know. He talked so much about me being this and that and this and that, and I feel like I ran into Travis Scott one night at a club and Travis called Kylie and said that I was hitting on him. And that never happened. So then that was like, oh, well Kanye says she's this and then she was hitting on Travis and I'm like, by the way, that never happened. I came in luck with the same people I came with. That never freaking happened. Larsa seems just as confused as us. She even claims that she was Kanye's go-to friend to talk to. He used to call me at four, five, and six o'clock in the morning, and I was like the person that would take his calls at four, five, and six in the morning when he wanted to rant. How that turned, maybe because, uh, you know, I blocked him on my phone because I just couldn't bear taking his calls anymore. I was just like, I, I, I can't, I'm drained. So I blocked him on my phone. So he, obviously that really upset him. So then he turned that into like, oh, she's this and she's that. And then like, they all started to like ride his wave of I'm this or I'm that. So what would Larsa say to Kanye now? If Kanye feels like Kim and you know him are better without me, then let them be without me. I'm okay with that. I have my, do I look like I'm suffering? Do I look like I'm in pain? I'm okay, I will survive. Was it hurtful? Yes. He saw you guys know? inseparable. And <laughs> since April, a lot of people have been speculating, pointing out the fact that they don't see you and the Kardashians hanging out. They saw that you guys unfollowed each other. and. Uh, on social media, and I don't know who has the hell, who has the time to go and like see who's following who and who unfollows who. But nonetheless, mm. there's been a lot of stories, and I think a lot of people are wondering what happened. Can you fill us in on like why you're not hanging out I, with them anymore? No, you guys, King, I don't even know. I just feel like Kanye um, was in a place where he, you know, he really didn't trust anyone um, with Kim. So I feel like I was the person that was like, oh, don't like, don't be so close to her because you're so close to her that, you know, that kind of had something to do with it. Have you reached out to her at all to be like, hey, what's going on? Can we like hang out? Um, a little bit, but I also feel like I, like I'm, my personality is the kind of person, like, I want you to be great. You know what I mean? I'm not, I don't want to be the trouble in your relationship. If you, if your husband feels like threatened by my relationship with you, then I don't want to be that person. Like I, I've got my own shit. I don't want to be like that person. Let him feel really comfortable, really secure. If I'm not in the picture and just see what happens. Like 
normally when people put themselves in that situation, like they think it's the other person's fault or whatever, when you have issues, like it's really never the other person's fault. You know what I mean? It's like you have to work on your own shit. It's not, it has nothing to do with other people. You know, it's almost like when people would say to me, like, what's the one thing that broke you up? Well, it's not one thing that breaks a couple up. It's multiple things. It's not just like one thing. So, you know, how did you feel? Like, who was the first person to, she unfollowed you. When did that happen? Did that, how, how did you feel when that happened? Um, how did I feel? Like, I, I didn't feel any type of way because I just kind of felt like, do what's best for your family, you know? Like, like I love you. You and I are best friends. We've been through everything together. I, I would never do anything to, like, you know, jeopardize our relationship. We're, like, sisters. We're family. But if you have to unfollow me to make your home it's a better It's 4 place, o'clock. If you have to unfollow me to make your home a better place, then that do it. You know, I was in a situation when Scotty and I had our issues. He didn't want me to hang out with them. Scotty was not happy about my relationship with them. Scotty was didn't want me to take my kids over their house. We, you know, we had issues like that, too. And I was strong enough where I was just like, I'm not going to let you dictate what I do. Like, I'm just not that person. You know, like I was like, no. So did you have like a a bad run in with Kanye? I guess I I just don't understand why he would would say like, don't hang out with this person or unfollow this person. No, we like, no, we always had a great relationship. I just, I don't know when people are not happy when people are trying to figure out their own shit. I feel like they want to put pressure and blame other people for their situation. And, you know, I've seen that happen so much that it's like, I get it. You know what I mean? I understand. I get it. Like, is it hurtful? 1000%. It's hurtful that people think like I hooked up, like I'm trying to ruin like Chloe's life. I'm like, dude, I would never do that. Like, you know, that's not even my personality. My personality is all about love and support. And I've been there and I've supported them through everything. So if Kanye feels like I, Kim and you know him are better without me, then let them be without me. I'm okay with that. I have my, do I look like I'm suffering? Do I look like I'm in pain? I'm okay. I will survive. Was it hurtful? Yes. But do I have love from a lot of other places? Yes. So this shall pass too. Okay, but why why Chloe and Courtney too? Because that's that's separate. Uh, he cuz he literally has brainwashed the whole family into thinking that like I don't even know what. I don't even know. You know, I don't know. They none of them gave you a reason. No, I I I, I swear I don't even know. Like I, I know that like and like a lot of people know this and a lot of people don't, but he talked so much about me being this and that and this and that. And so do you feel like, that he's brainwashing the family to think that you're trying to ruin relationships that they're in? Like, I, I'm just trying to get to what I, he would tell them. I don't even, I honestly don't even know. That's what I'm trying to say to you. I don't know. He used to call me at four five and six o'clock in the morning. And I was like the person that would take his calls at four five and six in the morning when he wanted to rant. And I would listen to him and I would be like, I love you. You're the best. Like things will get better. Like I was the, his go-to person to call when he wasn't happy with X, Y, and Z. How that turned maybe because, uh, you know, I blocked him on my phone cause I just couldn't bear taking his calls anymore. I was just like, I, I, I can't I'm drained. So I blocked him on my phone. So he obviously that really upset him. So then he turned that into like, Oh, she's this and she's that. And then like, they all started to like ride his wave of I'm this or I'm that, which I mean, if you're that easily swayed, like the wind, then like, do I really give a fuck? Should I give a fuck? I don't know. Like, was I hurt by it? Yes. But at the same time, I'm like, I've done nothing. I've never done one thing. And I've been the most honest and truthful and best friend to all of them. All right. So you guys just saw bits and snippets of the different interviews. Now I want to talk about the whole situation where she goes into depth about her and Kim Kardashian falling off and the Kardashian clan unfollowing her. I felt watching her podcast interview, there was a lot of things missing. Okay. I feel like Larsa was not being as honest. Um, She also spoke on her situation with future how she got with him, and she stated that she was not cheating on Scottie Pippen with Future, that they had already been separated and going through their divorce. But when she was dating Future, when that was all over the blogs, that might be so, but she also admitted to dating Tristan before Tristan ever got with Khloe Kardashian. And when she was with Tristan, she definitely was still legally married and not separated Uh, to Scottie Pippen. So you did cheat in that instance. Mentioned Tristan. Now, 
you know, you said you brought his name up. I wouldn't do anything. I wouldn't ruin Chloe's relationship. There has been a lot of stories in the in the news saying that there is this rumored relationship. Can you clear up those rumors for us? Was there ever anything? Um, well, I kind of was seeing Tristan before Chloe, before Chloe or any of them even knew he existed. I was seeing him. I had him come to L.A. I brought him to uh, a party Kim had. I introduced him to all of them. And then a week later, maybe 10 days later, he started seeing Chloe, which is fine. I don't even care. You know, it's just mm -hmm. whatever. Like, I don't, I don't care. I'm the type of person I don't really like. I don't chase what's not for me. I will never chase a man. I will never like put a leash on a man. I don't do that. I feel like let you be great, you know? And if you want to be other people, go ahead. I, I don't, you know, I'm great. I'm great by myself. Did and Chloe know you were seeing Tristan or dating? Yeah, I'm sure she knew. Yeah, I'm sure she knew. I brought him to an event, you know, one of Kim's events. Yeah. But you, you guys weren't like exclusive or anything. It was just like, hey, just having a good time. Yeah, we were, you know, we were just, yeah. So you, you're you in the middle of everything. You you know Tristan well. You know the Kardashians well. You see the whole drama go down with Tristan and Chloe the first time. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on them being back together now? I mean, I love them together. I feel like they have a beautiful baby together, and they need to work it out. And, you know, if they love each other, then God bless, you know. Yeah. I think when you have... A family with someone, it's really hard to like break up, you know, it's like you do everything in order to keep, you know, your kids home, you know, together and happy. And I applaud them for working things out. I, I did that with my relationship with Scotty so many times. I always like when things are really bad, I was like, I would just think about my kids and I would just pray on it and be like, I have to do what's best for my family. Like put myself like all the way in the back of the line and just help, you know, my help raise my kids the right way with, you know, a loving home. So I think it's great that they're trying to work on their relationship. I'm really proud of them, and I, I you know, I applaud them. Beyond the first surprised? time, sorry, beyond the first time you had a relationship with them, there was never a second time. That was it. Oh yeah, no, no. But it's funny how people think. Like I'm, like I'm the most honest person in the world. Like, I, trust me, I would never lie about something like that. No, I knew him before Chloe even knew he existed. So why? I so why, how do these rumors come up? That's that's my thing. Like I, I get know. it. I've been in entertainment journalism for a long time. But I feel like when rumors are so fake, like, how does that even happen? I have no clue to be. I think it's, you know what, it's very easy to, ever since the Jordan thing, it's very easy to be like, oh, this one's doing this to you. This one, like your friend's this, this you know, your friend is doing this. It's so easy for, for fans and people to say like, oh, your friend is doing this. Or, you know, it's just ever since the Jordan thing. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know. For me, I'm going to hold my man accountable way more. The guy that I sleep next to, the guy that I trust with everything, I'm going to hold more accountable than just a friend that's drunk or whatever, having a good time, you know, one do you, night. Do you think the only thing that gave that story fire was because Jordan liked a tweet, like, talking about it? Oh, I forgot about that, actually. Um, probably. Probably. I got to imagine, I I gotta uh, imagine yeah. that almost gives it validity even if she's just like, ha ha, whatever, you know, like I, I, yeah. it, I don't know. I mean, I, I never cared that Chloe was with him after me. You know, I never cared. It wasn't like, I don't like, you know, I don't care. Yeah. It's great. See, when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. So going back to the Larson Kim situation, she's saying that she has no idea why the Kardashians followed her, why they're, you know, acting different. She feels like Kanye's brainwashing them. First and foremost, in what world would any woman, I don't care if it's Kim Kardashian, if it's the damn hobo up the street, in what world would any woman be comfortable with her man calling another woman at four or five, six o'clock in the morning to do what? And especially you're calling my best friend. You know, it's one thing to get advice from my best friend or to ask her questions, but you can do that during the day and calls at four or five, six o'clock in the morning. Those are booty call hours. OK, ain't nothing open past midnight, but legs like the old people used to say. So I'm not buying that. I feel like, you know, Kim Kardashian started feeling uncomfortable with how, you know, close Kanye and Larsa were getting 
And I also feel like possibly Kanye was trying to make Larsa the scapegoat for Kim's, you know, shit. You know, in certain relationships, some women have their little wing woman, right? So they have their single homegirl who wants them to go out and hang out and do all types of things. But they forget that their homegirl is in a serious relationship or even possibly married. That's why like a lot of even situations like when I want to go out, when I want to hang out, I don't go out with married people. Because I feel like if you're married and you have a husband, we don't need to be going to the club together. We don't need to be going to venues that single people go to because I'm not going to be blamed for anything that happens in your marriage. So... One, that's where they messed up is that Larsa kept trying to be the fun friend and Kim Kardashian is in a different space than she was 10 years ago. You know, now she's married. She's trying to make her marriage work. She's a mother of four. So she can't be that same fun friend just because you're going through a divorce. See, Larsa is going through a divorce and she's trying to let her hair down. She's been married for 21 years. She's been up under Scottie Pippins. She's trying to sample all types of peen, okay? So she's trying to do her and live her best 48-year-old life, damn near 50. So Kim is not on that right now. So I can see how that would cause conflict in their relationship and how Kanye would feel away because she's a single friend always trying to drag Kim to some fuck shit. Now, I also believe that, you know, there are some things that she's done, too, to make the Kardashians not trust her. Now, she's talking about, oh, I never I never tried to get with Travis Scott. That was a lie. And okay, maybe those were lies, but those pictures that I talked about in my live stream, those were very much facts. She was in Chris Humphrey's face. That is Kim Kardashian's ex-husband. She was all over Tyga, all up in his face. That is Kylie's ex-boyfriend. So she seems to be around their exes a lot when it really should be a high and by. If you're my best friend and you see my ex, it, sh it really shouldn't even be no high and by. He's an ex for a reason. So if I don't fool with him, you have no business fooling with him. So for her to be, you know, all up in their face and taking pictures, it does look shady. So I can see how they started feeling away. Like, if you're going to be doing all that to our exes, what might you be doing to our boyfriend, baby daddies, husbands, etc.? But with that being said, I don't feel bad for none of the damn Kardashians, okay? Because first and foremost, how you get them is how you lose them. All these women, okay, Kylie included, got their booze in the most disingenuous ways. They took these men, you know, from other women, if you want to say the word took, you know. These men allowed themselves to be taken. Let's keep that real. But... Like I, I did a video a few years ago about how Travis and Kylie got together. At that point, Travis was dating Kylie's friend, Justine Skye. This is why Justine Skye and Kylie are not friends anymore. She was with Travis Scott. And then Kendall dated Travis Scott. Then they broke up. And then Kylie got with him. And then she got pregnant not even after a month of knowing him. So that's how their relationship came to be, okay? Okay. Kim, remember how she got Kanye. Everybody wanted to blame Amber, you know, and, and say Amber messed up that relationship. And then consequences, messy ass, you know, baby mother, Jen the Pen, she spilled all the tea on The Breakfast Club about how Kanye was cheating on Amber Rose with Kim Kardashian. That was a secret kept in her household. So that is how Kim got Kanye. Chloe, we know she's a man stealer. That's all she do. She took French Montana from Trina and, you know, a bunch of other people I don't feel like naming right now. But with the whole Tristan thing, I could see her taking, you know, Tristan off of Lars's hands. They all seemed like they were good with, you know, swapping out boyfriends and different guys anyways. You figure Kendall and Kylie both dated Travis, you know, so the whole situation is messy. So like I said, I don't feel bad for none of them. But I find it very funny now that she's trying to play victim. And she even said that, you know, she's happy that Chloe and, you know, Tristan are trying to work it out and she feels no ways about them getting together. You know, so it's funny that when Larsa was accused of, you know, possibly dating, you know, Travis or flirting with Travis, excuse me, um, you know, possibly flirting with this ex and that ex, they quietly let her go. They just quietly cut her off. But when it came to Jordan, it was a whole hoopla. And again, I don't feel bad for Larsa because you are a grown woman and you, you know what I'm saying, you were just as involved in trashing Jordan Woods and throwing shade at her with the Kardashians. And now that they're giving you the same treatment, now you're the victim. And I, in no way, y'all know how I feel about Jordan Woods. She's not innocent in this either because I don't believe that it was okay what she did with Tristan. That's your best friend's uh, sister's man. You have no business kissing on him. And Jordan Woods is old enough to know better. So I, I, don't, I don't give passes to whole shit. 
all of these women deserve each other. And like I said, Jordan was cool watching other black girls get disrespected and get, you know, and watching the Kardashians take other black women's, you know, boyfriends and shit that they were dating and she was okay with that and felt no ways and still made excuses and hung with Kylie but then when they flipped on her now everybody's trying to make her a super victim none of these people are victims to me I believe every last one of them were all birds of the same feather who all flock together it's the men now in their lives making them basically separate and move apart from each other you know because sometimes like I said before when women get into relationships then they want to act new they don't really want their girlfriends around their man especially if they know that their girlfriends is that type where she'll fuck your man as soon as you turn around and that's the vibe that I get from all these girls that for some reason they get off on taking each other's boyfriends and baby daddies and husbands and just all types of weird you know holly weird shit they, they love the whole swapping you know things like that so I'm not surprised by this at all. Um, so far, the Kardashians have done nothing but paid her dust and ignored her as they should. You know, Larsa is closer to 50. Okay, she looks good for her age. Don't get me wrong. But she is closer to 50 than she is 20. She needs to grow up, especially when everybody was talking about this back in the summer and you claimed it was water under a bridge and you guys just decided to walk away from the friendship because you had because you all had grown apart. So if that was your statement back in August, what's up with this podcast interview? So I find the whole situation funny, honey, but I told y'all there was there was trouble in deep waters and I told y'all their fraction had been going on a lot longer than June. This was years in the making and I believe that the Kardashians fell back from her because they see themselves in her they're the same exact way you know and now that they're trying to form serious relationships now all of a sudden I can't have my hoeish friend around because she might take my husband but yeah there's a lot of holes to her story there's no reason for Kanye to be calling you at four or five six in the morning you know and you end it because he was getting on your nerves and you blocked him. Nah, it seems like something else was going on. That's why you blocked him. You know, there's a lot of holes to that story. I'm not buying anything she's saying. But, you know, kudos to her for trying to pick up her pieces and move on with her life and, you know, step away from the Kardashians. But I'm not shocked by any of this. When you build friendships and relationships on disingenuous, superficial bullshit, they tend to, you know, crack and reveal themselves as the years go on. So anyway, y'all, Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. Once again, concerning Larsa Pippen. Basic, and why is she still using the last name Pippen? Okay, yeah, the divorce was final. You notice how a lot of these women, you know, they'll get a divorce from these major athletes, but then they still want to use the name, you know? I just find that very interesting, just like Drea Kelly. All right, so make sure you guys go ahead and leave a comment. Let's get the discussion popping. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And last but not least, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.